Hey, what's up everyone? Today, we're gonna talk about the Dallas Cowboys and the Cleveland Browns and how the Cowboys are turning into the new Browns. Make sure to like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. It helps me out a lot. So in week four, the Dallas Cowboys hosted the Cleveland Browns who were coming into this game winning two straight after finally getting their offense going. It was expected to be a high scoring game, yes, but yet again, the Dallas defense was absolute trash. Dallas lost the game at home 49 to 38. Although the offense put up a lot of yards and a lot of points, the biggest part of this game was the second and third quarters. During the second and third quarter, the Cowboys were outscored 34 to nothing. Yes, it was an absolute embarrassment. The fact that the Browns are 3-1 and one and the Cowboys are 1-3 has sent social media and the sports world in general on fire. People love to hate on the Cowboys and they had a field day on Sunday with this game. It was even kind of trending that the Dallas Cowboys are the new Cleveland Browns. As a Cowboys fan, it's been so hard to watch. Now trust me, I already know how bad they are, but the Cowboys gave up 307 yards rushing on 7.7 .7 yards per carry. That's absolutely ridiculous in the NFL. Those are the kind of numbers you see Navy and Army running for in college. They gave up a trick play touchdown in the first quarter from Jarvis Landry to Odell Beckham. They also let Beckham get a touchdown on one play after the failed onside kick in the fourth quarter on really the last drive that mattered. This is by far the worst Dallas Cowboys defense I have ever seen since I've been alive. I will actually blame the offense a bit for the loss this week as well. They started great with a 14-7 lead off two Dak Prescott touchdowns, but then went over two quarters with no scores. If they had even put up 10 points and longer drives at least, the defense could have gotten more of a rest. The fact is this. The Cowboys need to have longer drives and they need to chew more clock to keep their defense off the field as long as possible. The Cowboys can't afford to go a quarter without a touchdown, let alone two. The Cowboys are only a half game behind in the division lead and basically the only games they really need to win this season are against Washington, New York, and Philly. If they win against those teams, and I know it sounds ridiculous, they're rivalries, it will be hard, but if they can go 6-0 against those teams at 7-9, if they lose every other game, that's probably all they'll need for the division. However, they are in danger zone at 1-3. The Cowboys are playing the New York Giants this week, and despite the Giants being 0-4, they might give up 400 yards passing to Daniel Jones. Yes, Danny Dimes himself might light up the Cowboys this week. The Dallas Cowboys are an embarrassment of a team and need to turn things around quickly. Through four games, they are giving up 36.5 points per game. They are literally playing like a Big 12 college defense. Of course, I'm also giving big props to the Browns because I actually like a lot of their players and I hope they have a great season. OBJ looked great and just like all season, their running game has looked amazing. They have a lot of talent on offense and Miles Garrett dominated on the defensive line and helped carry them defensively. Yes, in the second half, they gave up a lot of points, they gave up a lot of stats, but their defense is actually pretty good. The reason they gave up all those numbers is because, again, they were playing lackadaisy and they were playing back a lot, giving Dallas a lot of easy yards. Going over the stats, Prescott had 502 yards on 70% passing with 4 touchdowns and the 1 interception at the end of the game. Again, he played great late, but the Browns were clearly playing it safe and gave up a lot of easy passes. Ezekiel Elliott had 125 total yards, but only 54 on the ground as the Cowboys fell too far behind to establish their run game. CeeDee Lamb had 2 touchdowns and Amari had 134 yards receiving. The offensive talent is great, but again, if they want sustained success as a team this year, they have to get that ground game going and they need to control the clock more. The Dallas Cowboys need to minimize as much as possible the time that their defense is on the field. The Cowboys are playing at home versus the Giants and the Cardinals the next two weeks, before traveling to Washington and the Eagles the following two weeks. Yes, it's early in the season, but if Dallas doesn't go at least 3-1 and one in their next four games, I fear that their season might as well already be over. Again, as a Cowboys fan, it's been brutal to watch them play on defense this season and on offense at times as well. The Dallas Cowboys have so much talent offensively, but it's not just about them putting up big numbers. The Cowboys need to put up big numbers every single quarter and just hope that their defense can hold on. Guys, leave me comments down below consoling me and making me feel better or leave me comments down below making fun of my team. 
Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Is there any way they can fix this? I guess we'll find out soon enough. As always, everyone, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 500 subscribers. And as always, everyone, I'll see you in the next one.